Hello, thank you for watching the video. Today I'm going to be replacing an oil filter only here. I just added a bunch of new oil to this car. Uh, did not add an oil filter at that time. Uh, reason being is the oil filter on here is really not that old. It's, uh, it's probably like a few hundred miles on it. But uh, when I uh, started the engine, after adding the new oil, driving it, uh, I noticed that I had a low oil uh, pressure light came on. So I'm thinking that maybe there's a some clog or debris in this filter. So I'm just going to change the filter today. And I've never done this before, so I don't know what to expect. So uh, we'll find out together whether a bunch of oil con continuously comes out or just a little bit will come out and stop. So here we go. All right, so here's the filter that I'm going to be replacing the old one with. Now this one is not brand new either. It's practically new. Wish we could get a better look. But this is a, a pure later one as well. So I'm just going to put this over here. Okay, I, I've got it to the point where I should be able to get it off with my hand now so you can see no oil coming out just watch that cardboard and you'll probably see the oil coming out So no, no oil was coming out at all. So I was looking at the cardboard, I didn't see any oil coming out, but uh, looking at the other camera, it seemed to be streaming out pretty well um, until I got the filter off and then it stopped. So I've got plenty of time here, there's no oil at all coming out. I've even moved the oil pocket there out of the way. So. I guess it's uh, good to know that you can change, at least on this car, an oil filter without having to remove the oil. So I'm going to look at the old, the one I just pulled off. It's not really old. I started to call it old. Uh, we'll see if there's any sludge there. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking happened. Uh, but that's well. That's kind of what I'm hoping happened. Uh, the other thing would be either a bad oil pump or a uh, sensor's bad or pickup tube, which I really don't want to take the oil pan off. So I recently did that about a year ago. Alright, so I'll get this on and then we will uh, look at that filter. So here's a look at the one that I took off. I don't see any sludge or anything that would cause it not to work. Um, and I don't suspect that it's a bad filter. So I probably got something else going on that's causing the low oil pressure. Uh, let's check the old level hill here. Anyway, that's pretty much it as far as how much oil will come out and if you can change your oil filter without changing the oil 
Thanks for watching. I'm just going to add a little Marvel Mystery Oil here. And I'm going to uh, start it up and we'll see if we're still getting the low oil pressure. Nothing really changed here with what I've done. Used the same filter, Pirillator 1. Um, I don't even, you know, I don't think it was worth changing it, taking, using a different brand. Like I said, or maybe I didn't say, but it, it was working fine until I did uh, some work on the car. And that's when uh, I noticed that I was getting the low oil pressure. And that work being removing or taking off uh, both these valve covers and they had just sludge completely built up inside them um, what had happened was I had uh, vacuumed that out and of course some is going to fall you know inside the engine uh, but I didn't think very much fell at all so before or after I put the covers back on I went ahead and drained all the oil um, without even starting the engine didn't did not want to start the engine knowing that some did you know fell uh, inside so I uh, drained it put that new oil in took it for a first drive and that's when I noticed the uh, the, low, the low oil pressure light on so uh, yeah next thing would probably be um, the pickup tube could possibly be clogged um, and that was that was cleaned about a year ago or it could be a false you know a bad sensor uh, so anyway I'm gonna end the video here thank you for watching till next time have a great day if you're still tuned in I'll go ahead and start the car uh, we'll try to get it up to about 2500 rpms and see if that light comes on red light I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and take, take it for a drive. If that light goes off, I will leave an update. Alright, here's an update. A few miles into the drive. Light is on there. So we're going back to the house. So changing that oil filter had nothing to do with the light here, the low oil. But we found out, uh, you know, that you can change your oil filter without losing a lot of oil. So anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, have a great day out there. Take care.